about having you know these various different plans, right, or backup plans. And I wondered if the play of the young core this season has elevated or changed any of those plans to any degree in just the way that you see this team and franchise moving into the future. No, I think I think that we were both, but I let him speak for himself, Rob. Um, I was very excited about uh, the growth of our young players. Uh, I think you saw it started with Julius changing his body. And I think that last year at this time, Rob and I challenged Julius to do that. And uh, he had his best season as a pro. Um, this year we're challenging Lonzo and B.I. and the rest of the guys, but especially those two, because they only play, you know, 50 something games. We, we need them to play more, but we want them to change their body and um, also get better in the off season. And so, but we were very happy about the way Lonzo performed. Uh, we feel that he can go to another level if he changes his body and, he, and if he's uh, able to stay on the court um, and play more games. Uh, we challenged uh, Brandon and said, you should be scoring between 15 and 20 points, and you saw what happened. Uh, 16 points a game. He's uh, probably the most versatile player we have on the team. He can play multiple positions. Um, uh, he's big time. I think uh, he has a high uh, ceiling he, because he's, uh, he's so long, so athletic, and uh, he can beat you in multiple ways. Uh, then um, when you look at Kyle Kuzma and the job that he was able to do uh, night in and night out, everybody thought he, what he did in summer league, uh, he couldn't step up and do in the NBA, and he proved uh, a lot of people wrong. So we're excited about uh, uh, Kyle, but also we challenged him because, okay, you did it this year, but what are you going to do next season when everybody now knows that you can play now? So we don't want him to be complacent or satisfied. And, um, and then Josh Hart, um, if we could have uh, uh, 20 of them, right? This guy is unbelievable. He's a winner. He's tough. He plays on both ends of the court. He can rebound. I think he's one of the best rebounding guards in the league. Um, um, if, you th if you think about the guy from OKC after him, I think Josh is, is second, right, as a rebounding guard. And so uh, we feel his, he can do a lot of different things for our team. So with Julius having an awesome year and the rest of the young guys, coming into play. I think of our upside and the future of this franchise is bright.